hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on probability in this video we'll be looking at three diagrams a tree diagram is a diagram that shows all the possible outcomes of any probability problem it could be dependent or independent events so we take our first example example one a box contains five white marbles and seven green marbles two marbles are selected from the box one after the other with replacement find the probability of selecting marbles of the same color b different colors this is an example of independent events if you have not watched that check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other videos on probability in this problem we are going to use the tree diagram thereby showing all the possible outcomes of this problem so we have the diagram we start with first choice and the first choice we have a white and green this is how a tree diagram look like for the first choice you have the end of the line the choice and the other line the choice whereas along the line you have the probability of such outcome so here the probability of picking white is going to be 5 over 12 since 5 plus 7 gives 12 so we have the probability of picking white as your first choice is 5 over 12 also the probability of picking green will be 7 over 12 so that is the end of the first choice then for the second choice we look at if white is the first choice then we now look at it is possible again the second one will be white or the second one will be green so if the second one is white then the probability of picking white for the second time since it is with replacement it means we still have five white over the total of 12 marbles in the same way if the first one is white and the second one is green it will still be 7 over 12 then this is the possibility of having the first one white and the second one is either white again or the second one is green then here we now assume that the first one is green and the second one may be white or green so that if the second one is white we still maintain the fact that it is with replacement so we still have 5 over 12 and also for the second one to be green we have 7 over 12 so we are done so how do we get the possible outcomes here so we read along the line this is w w's which means the first one is w and the second one is w and w g the first one is w which is white and the second one is green or the first one is green and the second one is white and here we have g g which is green green so going to the a part of the problem now the probability of selecting marbles of the same color will be white white or green green so that the probability of selecting white white now will be 5 over 12 times 5 over 12 since it is all so we apply addition law there and for the first green we have 7 over 12 times 7 over 12 so simplifying this we have the first two that is 5 over 12 times 5 over 12 gives 25 over 144 
plus 49 over 144. Since we have the same denominators, so we just add the numerators, that will give us 7 over 144. And in the simplest form, I have 37 over 72. And we are done with A part of the problem. So we go to B part. For B, we have to find probability of selecting marbles of different colors. Now for different colors, it is either white first and green second, or green first and white second. And the probability of white first and green second will be 5 over 12 times 7 over 12 or green first and white second which is going to be plus 7 over 12 times 5 over 12 so it comes like this this and this here this 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 and this this and this this and this so we simplify this is 35 over 144 plus 35 over 144 so this will now give us 70 over 144 um two goes there to give us a 35 over 72 in the simplest form so with these we have done justice to example one so we go to example two for example two Mary has a bag of beads. There are four red, two blue, and three green beads. Mary picks a bead at random and records its color. Without replacement, she picks another one and records its color. A. On a tree diagram, show all the possible outcomes. B. From the tree diagram, find the probability that she picks beads of one, the same color, two, different colors. So what we do here again, we start with a part of the problem, then let's see what we are given. We are given four red beads, two blue beads, and three green beads, and a total of nine beads in the bag so we start with a part of the problem which is the tree diagram and before then we want to practically represent the beads so there are four red beads two blue beads and three green beads so starting with the tree diagram we have the diagram in this way since there are three items there that is the first choice we'll be looking at red blue and green now if what she picks for the first time is red the probability of picking red will now be four over nine since there is a total of nine beads then if she is picking blue for the first time it will be two over nine and if she's picking green it will be three over nine since there are four red beads four over nine two blue beads two over nine and three green beads three over nine that is the end of the first choice then for the second choice we look at if she picks the first one to be red and remember it is without replacement meaning there's going to be a reduction of red beads by one at that point we'll be left with three and the blue will still be intact the green will still be intact but we now have a total of eight beads three plus three six plus two eight so the probability of picking the second one red or the second one blue or the second one green is what we are going to look for now. 
the probability of picking the second one red now since there are now three red beads will be three over eight three over the total number of beads or the probability of picking the second one blue will be two over eight and the probability of picking the second one green will be three over eight now we are done with this picking red for the first choice and either red second choice or blue second choice or green second choice now we go back to b assuming she picks blue for the first choice meaning the red will still be intact but the blue will be gone with one so that we will now find the probability of picking the second one red or the second one blue or the third one green so that the probability of picking the second one red after picking the first one blue will now be four over eight and the probability of picking the second one blue will be one over eight so that the probability of picking either the second one to be green will be three over eight and assuming this is not blue and it is green that is picked for the first time which means the blue will still remain intact but green will be down by one so that the probability of picking the second one to be red the second one to be blue or the second one to be green will be our next target now the probability of picking the second one to be red after picking the first one green will be four over eight and the probability of picking the second one blue will be two over eight and finally the probability of picking the second one green will be two over eight and that is all we just need to do for the tree diagram since she picks only two beads so we now go out to get the possible outcomes so the possible outcomes for the first one here is red red and the possible outcome for the second one will be red blue here is red green in that order so here will be blue red here will be blue blue and here will be blue green here will be green red here will be green blue and lastly we have green green so these are the possible outcomes so we can go ahead to calculate the values for red 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 blue up to green green so what we do there is since for red red this is 4 over 9 and 3 over 8 since the first one is red and the second one is red so we are going to find the product of 4 over 9 and 3 over 8 so we say 4 times 3 is 12 and 9 times 8 is 72 so we have the probability of picking red red to be 12 over 72 and for red blue will be 4 over 9 times 2 over 8 so that we have 4 times 2 gives 8 and 9 times 8 gives 72 so for the next one here which is red green it will be 4 over 9 times 3 over 8 and that will still give us 4 times 3 which is 12 over 72 then for blue red for blue red it will be blue red 2 over 9 times 4 over 8 so 2 times 4 gives 8 over 72 and for bb that is blue blue it will be 2 over 9 times 1 over 8 
which is 2 over 72. For blue green, we have 2 over 9 times 3 over 8, and that will give us 6 over 72. Here for green, red, it will be 3 over 9 times 4 over 8, and that will give us 12 over 72. For blue, green, we have it as 3 over 9 times 2 over 8, that will give us 6 over 72. And finally, for green, green, we have 3 over 9 times 2 over 8, which gives 6 over 72. And that is for that. Then we go to B part of the question. In B, we have the first one, which is the probability of picking the same color. So the probability of picking the same color now will be red, red, blue, blue, or green, green. It is probability of picking red, red, or blue, blue, or green, green. So that the probability of picking red, red, we have already calculated it, will be 12 over 72, all means plus probability of picking blue, blue, will be 2 over 72, plus probability of picking green, green, which gives 6 over 72. So that 12 plus 2 plus 6 will give us a 20 over 72. In the simplest form, we have it as 5 over 18. And that's the end of B1. For B2, we are looking for probability of picking different colors. Probability of picking different colors here, if you look at it, it is either red, blue, red, green, blue, red, blue, green, green, red, green, blue. And uh, if you look at the whole set, it is the red, red that is out of place, blue, blue is out of place, and green, green is just the rest. By complement of probability, we can just see probability of picking different colors will be 1 minus probability of picking the same color. Because by implication, the sum of all these probabilities is meant to give us a 1. So what we just do is 1 minus the ones that are not there in the set under consideration. So that we will now have it as 1 minus 5 over 18 and that gives 13 over 18. And that's the end of solution to example 2. This is the highest we are taking in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the probability problems. Until I come your way again, goodbye.